Shoulder hiking is a common irregular movement pattern in stroke survivors, and it often happens due to underactivation of the scapular muscles and overactivation of the upper trapezius muscle. So today we're gonna go through four different exercises to help you stop hiking that shoulder. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and come and sit down. We're gonna go into a warm up first, and we're going to start by just protracting, pushing our shoulders forward and retracting, pulling our shoulders backward. So we're pushing, we're spreading apart our scapula or our shoulder blades, and then we're pulling back and trying to tighten them across our back. Very nice. So this is just to get our shoulders nice and warmed up and ready to work. Very nice. We want everything to be nice and warmed up, muscles warm, ready to be active, so that as we continue through this, it will feel a little bit easier to move. All right, you're doing fantastic. We have a little bit longer, about 10 more seconds. You're doing great. Pushing those shoulders forward and then pulling them back, back, back. Pushing forward and then pulling back. Great job. We are now at our first exercise, which is unaffected shoulder flexion. Yes, you heard that correctly. We want to start off with the unaffected side to feel what normal movement feels like. So for this video, this side is my affected side. This is my unaffected. So we're raising unaffected side up and then relaxing. You don't have to come all the way up over your head. We just want to feel what that normal feeling is to raise your arm. Now, as you raise, I want you to try to keep your elbow straight on your unaffected side. That shouldn't be too hard, I hope. So all you're doing is keeping thumb up, elbow straight, wrist straight, fingers straight, and we're just raising up to about shoulder height or maybe a little higher. This is really important because this is gonna help prime our brain to say, hey, okay, I know what this movement is supposed to feel like. It may feel silly kind of working this side out, but like I said, we are trying to refresh our brain and say, this is what that normal, typical movement is supposed to feel like. Now you don't have to be going super fast. I want you to take it nice and slow. Doing great. All right, so let's stop here. And now we're gonna go into this technique that I learned from a great, great continuing education course on stroke rehab. So here's how we're going to practice on the affected side. Well, I want you to say this to yourself. Listen to me first, and then this, you can say this to yourself. On the affected side, here's how we want to initiate reaching to avoid shoulder hiking. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow straight and up, and now Push up. Good. Relax. You can see we're not taking that too far, but here we go. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up or straight. Push up. Good. We're going to keep practicing that. I just want that to get burned into your brain. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up or straight. Push up. Good. It may help to do this in front of a mirror so that you can watch yourself and monitor if you're shoulder hiking. Now, I wanna put this technique into practice with our third exercise, which is rolling a chair or a ball or whatever you have. So I've got this nice hefty chair. I'm gonna slide this over right here. So let me push here so that we can see from both angles. So what I wanna practice is I'm facing the item that I want to push, that I want to reach to, and we're gonna do that same strategy. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up or straight, push up. And we're gonna try to push that chair. And then if you have some grip, I want you to try to bring it back to you. Let's relax, do it again. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up, all while trying to monitor and keep that el uh, elbow, shoulder down. Pull that back towards you. We're gonna do that one more time. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, and then we've got push up. 
push up and away. Wonderful, wonderful job. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is bring the chair over to the other side. All right, so we're gonna get a little better view here. This time we're gonna try to cross just a little bit. This is a little bit bigger of a challenge, right? Making sure everybody can still see on both of these cameras. Same technique, but now we're targeting. Instead of just pushing, we're crossing and we're making this a little tiny bit more difficult. Same technique, fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up. Now this time we're trying to reach to the target and we're trying to keep that shoulder down. Now, if crossing midline is too difficult for you where I'm crossing over like this, first of all, you can just turn and face this. You can put the chair directly in front of you, whatever's working better for you. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. So we've got fingers up, wrist up, elbow up or straight, push up. So as we reach, we're really maintaining and paying attention to that shoulder and trying not to let it hike up, right? All right, fantastic job, holy cow. Let's take a breather here for just a second because that's a lot of fingers up, wrist up, elbow up. We've got about 25 more seconds just to kind of chill here for a second. I want you to take a nice big deep breath in with me in through your nose and then out through your mouth. If you need to do a little shoulder roll in the interim, if you need to do those little warm up exercises just to keep that shoulder nice and warmed up, I want you to do that. Keeping those shoulders nice and movable. All right, but guess what? We're back at exercise number one, which is where we're practicing first with our unaffected side. So we're doing unaffected shoulder flexion, meaning we're raising that arm, unaffected or uninvolved side, up to about shoulder height and then back down. Coming up, keeping the elbow straight, wrist straight, fingers straight. Doing great. And again, this is just so we're priming our brain and saying, hey, this is the movement that we're going for. This is what we're trying to accomplish here. This is what we want. Very nice. You're doing fantastic, keep it up. We've got about 30 more seconds of this one. And if you haven't been working out your unaffected or uninvolved side, it's a good time to think about doing that because we don't want that side to get weak, right? So it's a good thing that we wanna move this side anyway. Doing fantastic. Let's do just a few more here. Got about eight more seconds and then we'll move into the next one. You're doing great. Let's do one more. Beautiful job. All right, exercise number two, which is the technique, right? It's the fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up. So all we're gonna do is practice that on your unaffect or your affected or involved side. Ready? So all we're gonna do, fingers up, wrist up, elbow up or straight, push up. Good, very nice. Relax, we're just gonna practice that over and over again. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up. All while trying to maintain a nice even shoulder. Good. Let's try it again, fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up. Good. Let's try it again. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, Push up, beautiful job. All right, one more time, ready? Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up. Beautiful job. Now for the next exercise, exercise number three, we're putting that into practice as we roll our chair. So I'm gonna pull this over again. Let's try to put this maybe right over here so we can see a little bit better from this angle. So. What I want you to do is same technique, but this time we are actually practicing with the chair doing something a little more functional. So here's what we're gonna do. Same thing, fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up, 
pushing into that chair. Even if you don't actually move or roll the chair, that's okay. But if you can get a nice little push here, that's fantastic. Let's try that again. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up. Good. All, ma all while maintaining that nice shoulder at an even level. Here we go. We've got fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up. Good job. We're doing it again. It's repetition, repetition, repetition. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up. Push into that chair and then relax back down. Fantastic job. I'm gonna switch the chair back over. And this time we're going for the target. Whoop. So I mess up my rug. That's all right though. Last exercise, you have made it this far. Let's finish strong. Same technique, but this time we're reaching across the body. If that's doable for you, if not, stick with the chair in front of you. Ready, set, and here we go. Targeting the chair. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up. Reaching up, good. If you find that crossing midline is starting to target or is starting to make you hike your shoulder, I want you to turn and face it, okay? So here we go. Fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up, good. If you feel like you wanna to go to the top of the chair, go for it. Let's do fingers up, wrist up, elbow up, push up, good. Start with lower places first where you can maintain the shoulder in a good position. And then as you, that starts getting more comfortable, I want you to start moving up further and see if you can maintain that shoulder position. All right, go ahead and stop there. Fantastic job. I hope that you found this helpful. This is something that you will want to come back to, to try and repeat again and again. It's it's going against a learned behavior that you've now started due to some of those muscle imbalances. So it's going to take repetition. It's going to take practice to see that get better. It's not something that's gonna get better overnight. It's gonna take a lot of practice, but hopefully with this video, this will help give you a technique that you can practice at home and work on stopping hiking that shoulder. As always, I am gonna leave a link down in the description if you'd like to sign up for the email list, which is, gets you free stroke recovery tips, as well as a free copy of my ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. And as always, if you find value in what we do here, please consider gifting Post Stroke. You can do that by clicking the link in the YouTube bar below, giving us a super thanks. You can give us a one-time donation via PayPal, or you can become a Patreon member where in exchange for a monthly donation, you get access to cool perks like social media shout outs, behind the scenes footage, and even YouTube shout outs, of which I have two today. Thank you so much, Heather G and Lee S for continuing to contribute at the empower level. We can't do what we do without you. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.